because of that, we want to bring in our chief medical correspondent, Dr. John LaPook. All right, John, we just heard about Italy in lockdown. We've seen closures of schools, churches here in the United States. Why is the CDC using that phrase, social distancing, and does it work? Well, it's basically figuring out ways to keep us away from each other. And there is evidence that it does work. In the 1918 flu pandemic, cities that adopted it, they had fewer mortality than cities that didn't. So, yes, there's evidence. You mentioned, of course, the flu, which affects millions, kills at least 20,000 people here in the U.S. every year. So explain why public health officials are so concerned about the coronavirus. Well, we are still concerned about the flu, and you're right, it kills a lot of people. But that is a difference, right? With the flu, we know come spring, come rain or shine, it's going to start to die down. So it's predictable that way. And there is a vaccine, and there's a treatment like Tamiflu. With coronavirus, we don't know what's going to happen with the warm weather. It may die down. It may not. There's no treatment known. There's no vaccine. And unlike the flu, where you can have some immunity from past flu seasons, there's no immunity uh, to this new coronavirus. And what that all adds up to is uncertainty which Wall Street hates and Americans hate. And, John, I have to get you to address the issue of these tests. Do we have enough tests? Are people going to be able to get the test to find out if they have coronavirus? Are we getting near some sort of turning point on that? Uh, we all hope so. It's been very frustrating right now without these diagnostic kits. I mean, places like South Korea were able to test almost 200,000 people. And here in the United States, we were able to make a diagnosis in, in places like Washington State, where people had obvious symptoms. But what's going on in the rest of the country? Is it possible that people have very few symptoms or even no symptoms? Until we have these diagnostic kits, we're not going to get our arms around it. Once we do get our arms around it, we'll have the ability to figure out a better plan for getting it under control. All right, Dr. John LaPook, always good to have you. Thank you so much.